Okay, so you you you've said this in, in a previous call um, that Trump is kind of the end to all of this. Trump, uh, n- nice uh, nice vape uh, vape smoke, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, you've said that that Trump. You even said, and I want you to 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 explain this to our listeners. You know the whole um, uh, prophecy of the Trumps. Because I found that extremely interesting, you know, the, the, the you know, how like Barron and all that, it, it was like in books that were published years ago. Um, and and I, I think that's very interesting. So, so I'll, I'll let you uh, get into that. <laughs> uh, yeah. His name is Ingersoll Lockwood. Um, uh, just, just so I got in front of my face, I pretty much got this stuff memorized at this point anyway, but yeah, right here, Ingersoll Lockwood. In fact, the books can be found on a government website. <clears throat> that's where I pulled them up and had started reading some of them. Uh, or a, a couple of them. He wrote like three books. Two of them are important. One of them is called Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Adventures. Yeah, the first one was called Little Baron Trump. The second one was Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground uh, Journey, uh, I think. Yeah, Marvelous Underground Journey. And uh, then he wrote a book called The Last President. Now, The Last President predicted Trump's presidency. It's it's Now, you got this little boy called Baron Trump. Now, who's Baron Trump? Yep. Yeah. Donald He's, Trump's youngest yeah. kid. Okay. So that's, you know, you know, by chance, that's the first one. Second, we'll go off with, is going to be a coincidence. He gets followed. He's followed or uh, he follows around a man that he calls Don, the master of masters. Uh, that's coincidence. Now we've now, now we're about to start a pattern because this is number three predicted uh, the address of Trump tower. Uh, he called it Trump castle, but it was the address of Trump tower uh fifth avenue new york uh that was written in the books now these books were written over 120 years ago all of them uh the last president was written and uh, written and put or published in the year 1900 so all of these books were written over 120 years ago and uh so you got it, it and it says in the last president a wealthy outsider candidate uh a, a, I don't remember the exact quote, but essentially yep. that nobody would want to win ends up taking the presidency and it pisses people off so bad that they quote, uh, rebelled against those who had oppressed them all those years. So what's that? Now we're at four or five uh, coincidences. That's, that's the presidential prediction and the prediction of the riots um, that have been going on. And, uh, Here's number six. He added a man to his cabinet named Pence. <laughs> <laughs> how do you come? I know. Do, bro, it's crazy. You, it's like, you how can't is make that, this shit up? No, you can't make this shit up. And if you did, you'd be called fucking stupid, but you can find <laughs> this. <laughs> Look it up. Look it up well, right what, now. If you're the, listening what's to the this, name of this, uh, 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 Baron Trump's Marvelous Underground Journey and The Last President. Those are two different books. The Last President that was written in 1900. The author was Ingersoll Lockwood. Yeah, 1900. Holy shit. And you can you can read these books. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find both of them on a gov- on a government website. I don't remember which. Yeah, one Google it was. Google Books offers it for free. You can read the whole thing. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I mean. I mean, there's plenty of YouTube videos. Of pe- if you don't feel like reading the whole book, there's plenty of YouTube videos right. of people going through the books and, and just highlighting all the, well, the you know, the well, cause future my telling first, stuff. My first assumption would have been, or rather kind of is, that it's a recent book made to look old. But if it's definitely from that time frame, having that many coincidences is just odd. Um... You know, I I don't I don't it's, really know how to win, how to Ingersoll digest. Lockwood, uh, born eighteen forty one, Oz Ozening, New York, died uh, the thirtieth of nineteen eighteen. It's funny if you look at if you look at Baron Trump's travel and adventures, uh, the cover it actually the original cover actually has a a painting of a man that looks just like Donald Trump. <laughs> No kidding. Have, yeah, and Baron Trump, the drawing phone. of the little boy's face. <laughs> yeah, if you and if you look at the drawing of the little boy's face, he that looks like Baron Trump as well. Exactly, exactly. So this is pretty crazy stuff. Do you, do you know 
any background on the writer of this? Have you looked into that at all? Or yeah, I just I just pulled him up. I just told you, uh, Inger Saul Lockwood. I got it right here. He was born in 1841 in uh, Ossining, New York, and he died in in uh, 1918 in uh, Saratoga Springs, New York. He was so it's definitely lawyer. not a recent book. Right. No, he, he's yeah. an Amer. He was an yeah, he American was a lawyer, lawyer and a writer. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty crazy stuff. So huh. you you had said that you think you know that Trump is the last president. And I thought that was extremely crazy. You know what I mean? When you had said that the first time, but I, I want you to just tell Isaac Q and the says, listeners. Yeah. If you, if, 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 if anybody knows what Q is, and I'm pretty sure you do at this point, uh, there have been several Q drops that say, this is not another four year election. Do you think that there like this, is, it's really not. So, okay. We he still has to get reelected, right? So, do you think that let's say he by chance doesn't get reelected? You know, let's say that that there's you know voter fraud or or whatever. And we've talked about this many times: the mail-in voting. Um, what if he doesn't get reelected? Like, does that mean the profit the the quote unquote, air quotes prophecy is uh, is destroyed or? Uh, not necess not necessarily because we really won't technically have another president because what's going to happen is the new world order. We're going to go into a one world government, uh, and that's and that's going to be it. Is the United Nations is going to take over? If Hillary Clinton had won, like we'd be screwed. We'd already have vaccines forced into us. There'd be blue hat. There'd be blue helmets on our soil. Uh, we'd already be thrown into FEMA camps and shit. It, that that would have already happened. I mean, Alex Jones has been saying this shit for like 30 years.